Hi guys, this is Greg coming at you with my first deck list. This is what I like to call bubble drain, which is not the result of attempting to flush a can of shaving cream down the toilet. It is an OCG based deck that's made its way into the most recent YCS, Long Beach, and it involves using elemental heroes and their various shenanigans in combination with skill drain. Now, I'm a big fan of heroes. I played them back when all we had were the anime ones with fixed fusions. They were a lot of fun. Now we've got the Omni Heroes, and they're not only fun, they're also effective. So, let's start off with the monsters. We have Stratos. Now this guy right here is the hipster of the deck, because he was searching other monsters before it was mainstream. He's a staple in hero decks, you'd better have him. We have three Neo Salius, also a staple of hero decks. 1900 Beat Stick, easily searchable. He combos with Gemini Spark and Hero Blast, helps you make Shining, whatever you need. Next, we got two Bubble Man. Some people run three, some people run two. Basically, it's this deck empties your hand really fast, so you can special summon him and either tribute him off for Mask Change or use him for Fusion. Draw two cards if you run low. Most of the time, though, you're going to make an Xyz with him. Now, I only run two because I found there's another card I like running, and that is this guy. Ice Edge. He forces plays. I summon him, I activate his effect, and then my opponent is either going to panic and try to get rid of him, or they're going to let me attack directly and kill a card. Either way, I win. We have Wild Heart, who is unaffected by traps like Bottomless Trap Hole, Torrential Tribute, D Prison, Mirror Force, even Skill Drain and Fiendish Chain. Skill Drain anyway if he was out first because of that old ruling. And finally, two Thunder King Ryo. Now I would much rather have two Photon Thrasher than this guy for any number of reasons. Photon Thrasher is bigger, he doesn't use up my normal summon, he benefits from skill drain, he's a warrior, all sorts of things. But I don't have any at the moment for some bizarre reason, so as soon as I get them I'm gonna switch to those. On to spells, we have 3E Emergency Call. You're running heroes. You're going to want to search heroes. Now the build originally calls for just two of these and two duality, but I'm working with what I have, so this will just have to do. Do Mask Change. I've got Water Targets, I've got Earth Targets. So I can make Acid, Vapor, or Dion, depending on what I need. More on that later. Two Super Poly, because we don't have Escuridao yet. But this thing is amazing. Drop it on the opponent's turn or on your turn. Depending on how you need it, you can deal out some damage and gain or cement control of the field. To Miracle Fusion. It's heroes. This is a staple in heroes. End of story. Gemini Sparks. Two of them. Three of them is just a little bit too much of a risk. I mean, I know there's people who run three of them, but you've only got three targets. I don't want to risk it. I draw into this fine enough as it is. 2 MST. Again, a bunch of people may question, why are you not running 3 MST? I'm running Gemini Spark, I'm running Ice Edge, and I'm a very spell and trap heavy deck. Yeah, I'm more about the tech stuff. 1 Future Fusion. Surprisingly not a lot of hero decks run this, but it sets up Hero Blast. It sets up Miracle Fusion, and I would honestly rather have my opponent MSTing this than something else important in my deck. Reinforcement to the army. Searches any of my warriors. All the heroes I'm running are warriors, and if I had the two Photon Thrasher, they'd be them as well. Pot of Duality. This is what I'm supposed to be running two of instead of three E-Call, but I only have the one. I'm going to make that switch as soon as I can. Monster Reborn. I can't revive the fusions but I can revive pretty much anything else, and that's pretty powerful. Mind Control. This forces plays. Again, I attempt to mind control their Lagia, they're obviously going to negate it. Or I can mind control that Utopia and turn him into Utopia Ray of my own. Or I can do any number of things with it. And then we have Book of Moon and Dark Hole, which are just staples. You shouldn't need to question me on them. Next, two Skill Drain. Most of the monsters in this deck don't care about having their effects negated, and those that do, you would essentially summon them first. Uh, some decks run three of this guy, but I really don't feel like it. Mostly because there are times when it is inconvenient. Again, 
two of them works out just fine for me. Two Hero Blast. I have three targets. This thing is chainable. It kills opponents' plays as they begin. And it puts monsters back in my hand. It's an all-around plus. Two Solemn Warning. Uh, yeah, this thing is a staple too. I shouldn't need to explain that, but it works really well. Compulsory Evacuation Device. Because it stops Zen Mines. It uh, sets back in sectors for a turn. I will bounce that wind up Zen Mighty. Um, bounce Logia, I guess, and force them to negate. There's any number of things you can do with it. Bottomless Trap Hole, because it's awesome to hit that big monster the instant it hits the field and stop them cold. Mirror Force, because it's a card I love. You're potentially killing one or more of their cards. And even if they Starlight wrote it, you use Super Poly on the Stardust Dragon and you still come off. Speaking of Starlight Road, my own. Because with all the spells and traps in this deck, it's just too good not to run. Speaking of the extra deck, we have Stardust Dragon. Obvious. Great Tornado. He's an awesome card. I can make him to make anything lower. Basically, anything that has 5,600 or less attack, he can kill by being summoned. Gaia. Use Super Poly on an opponent's Earth Monster. Usually that's going to be Saber Saurus. Hint, hint. Wind Up Rat. Hint, hint. Um, to Absolute Zero. Because he's awesome. And he is a great target for Mask Change. Uh, Cabazals. Zen Mighty. Any sorts of things I can do. I'd love to be running Nova Master, but alas, I don't have any. So that's why I'm running three of this guy. I'm running Trip Shining until I can get myself at least one Nova Master. Then I'd probably bump it down to two. I mean, he's great. I think he's the best of the Omni Heroes. But three is a bit much. Then we have Acid. This guy is so obvious because it's like, woohoo, Harpy's Feather Duster and all their monsters lose points. And if you combo it with Absolute Zero, it's like, oh my god. Vapor. I would run two Acid if I have them. But unfortunately, I do not. So he'll do in the pinch anyway. And I mean, there's a lot of ways that he can't be killed. Dion. Wildheart or Gaia is a reasonable target. And if he kills something by battle, I recruit more heroes. That or he's a beat stick or a wall. Lovely. One Draco Akist. Great tech for heroes because you can essentially use a Stardust and anything else. And Blade Armor Ninja because it's very easy to make with two heroes and the two utopias. Just cause. Anyway, that's my first deck video. Uh, if you like it, leave a comment. If not, I'll see you around.